very very eerie feel, uh, feeling. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, it's it's great, man. Uh, I just been uh, out here kind of taking everything in, man. Unbelievable setup, man. A great job by the university and all the people behind the scenes for getting this together, man. It's uh, it's a really good feeling always to come back, man. I try to get back as much as I can uh, all the time. But uh, you know, just being here with all these special guys, man, throughout the course of the years, man. It's a lot of history here too, as well. So it's great, man. Real, you traveled a pretty interesting path since you left here basketball. Yep. Life. Oh man, it's been a it's been a crazy road for sure. That's for sure. Uh it wasn't ideal by any means of that, but uh at the same time uh, I I've, I've gained some really good experience throughout the the entire process from starting off with me and this knucklehead uh not getting drafted uh as long as as well as with uh, Dominique and uh you know ha- kind of having to try to make things out the hard way uh having some bumps and some bruises along the way some ups and some downs but man uh wouldn't trade it for anything experiences growth as a person you know and uh you know we've been completely fortunate and really blessed man just to be able to keep doing this you know they say that we still playing this game for a living and as our job Oh man, I'm I'm excited about it. Uh, think about success. Sometimes you take it for granted while you're doing it, and uh, you know we were kind of part of the, you know the the the, the re, the re uh, we kind of like revamping the Marquette name over again. Uh, you know things were a little bit deader when we got in after the Final Four with D Wade and those guys, and we kind of had a few down years. But uh, you know we were part of bringing it, bringing us back to the top, going to the Big East for the first time, and you know when it was crazy 16 team conference and uh you know just kind of like letting people know that Marquette is you know uh, a force to be reckoned with in the basketball world so uh you know it's just uh you know the state of the program now is going back up again uh Wojciechowski I think he's doing a really great job he's getting the right type of guys in here the right type of players and uh you know it's just a just a matter of time before we get back to our our normal winning ways and uh this past year was a big step for that for sure Man, it's really it's really cool, and that's why I said I just kind of been taking everything in. So many people uh, throughout the course of the year who, you know, may come back, but you miss a lot of these guys, man. And guys live all all scattered throughout the over the country, so a lot of these guys you don't get to see as often. I know there are a couple guys I was really looking forward to meeting that I've already met. So uh, it's been it's been really cool. It's been really cool. Just a lot, of, like I said, a lot of history in the room, a lot of great names, great players, and different eras, man. It's a really special event, but they've, they've done a great job, man. It looks fantastic. How is it uh, representing, how is it representing uh, wearing Marquette's logo again last year in the tournament and being coached by uh, Coach Matthews here? Yeah. Make sure you get this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sound bite. <laughs> uh, no, man. It was, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was really good, man. Uh, the whole TBT thing, uh, Dan Fitzgerald, uh, my former team making really good friend him and Trav those guys did a great job uh, reaching out to all of us seeing if we wanted to get involved uh, I think it was like after a, a year or two after the, the tournament first started and they was like you know let's do like an alumni team and uh it's really cool to be able to do that because we got so many guys that are still playing professionally guys that are playing at a really high level whether uh lots of different countries some guys on the a uh, higher level and NBA level as well. So uh, it's really cool, man, just to have a, have, have a Marquette jersey on. They're not as nice as our jerseys, but, you know, pretty cool jerseys with our old colors. And uh, being around all these guys, that was the best thing about it, man, just to all your former teammates, guys who play, you may not have played with, but may have came, uh, you know, a couple years after you, a class or two after you. So it's it really cool. Coming off the bench is not an option, <laughs> first and foremost, but we'll discuss this at a later time, Coach Matthews. What do you think your best memory is of playing in this building? Let's talk about the UW. You know, you think about that UConn game, the first Big East game. Man, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Wisconsin, beating Wisconsin, he was always fun especially for him and you know obviously we always played a little bit harder and try to get him to win so he wouldn't have to hear about it but uh but yeah I think UConn man was like was like the game for me kind of like sealed the deal man and just to see this place fill up and have so much energy in it at times you know what I mean and 
kind of after that game, it was like everybody's big breakout game. Steve had his unbelievable, what he had, 40 that night? Yeah. I had a, somebody else had a double double that night, but it was like this big in the newspaper because Novak had 40 and 20. But no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it was unbelievable. Electric environment playing, you know, one of the powerhouses in college basketball at the time with uh, Jim Calhoun and, uh, and the Huskies, man. Those guys had a really, really talented team that year. I remember they went like at least six or seven guys deep that uh, probably professional players or close to NBA level type players. Uh, just the energy in the building, man, those games versus uh, Notre Dame, some of the some of the big games versus uh, Louisville, Pittsburgh, all those teams, man. Uh, we had an unbelievable fan base, man, and the, and the city got really got behind us and supported us, man. It was a lot of fun doing it, though. You good?